What's up fourth graders? Today we are working on finding time intervals. Let's get started. Let's find how many minutes there are between 215 and 240. Good strategy is to count by fives using the numbers on the clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we have 25 minutes between 215 and 240. Another strategy we could have done is since we're both within the same hours, we could have subtracted 40 minus 15. And if we had done that, we'd have seen that we got 25 minutes as our answer, just like counting up would have given us. All right, let's find from 215 to 305. You don't always have to count up by five. Sometimes you can count by tens. When you count by 10, you skip a number on the clock. So 10, 20, 30. 40, 50 minutes gets us to 305. So there's 50 minutes from 215 to 305. If I wanted to subtract, I could have done 305 minus 215. 5 minus 5 is 0. Here, when we borrow, instead of borrowing 10, since there's only 60 minutes in the hour, you borrow 6. So 6 minus 1 is 5, and that's how we would have got 50 minutes by subtracting. Last one, let's find 1220 to 305. Again, we can count by hours sometimes. From 1220 plus an hour gives us 120. Plus another hour to two hours gives us the 220. Now if we can find the minutes from 220 to 305, we'll have our full time interval. So from 220, I know it's 40 minutes will get me to three o'clock. Because 60 minutes are an hour. Plus another five more minutes, or 45 minutes, gives me to 305. So all together, from 1220 to 305, there's two hours, 45 minutes. So to recap it all, one of the best strategies in finding time intervals is simply to count up on the clock. You can count by fives, tens, or you can count by hours if it crosses the hour. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Created using Powtoon.